Hello, welcome back. Let's keep it rolling by rolling into the lair. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep them zombies rolling. Oy. Alright, fine. Phantom, you should be a piece of cake by now. And so you are. My confuse is getting quite potent. Here we go, some creatures. I don't know if many of them can see invisible, but, well, we're right here. We can probably get a couple of stabs, at least. Stab. Mmm. Stab. Black Mambas can be dangerous, but not when they're asleep. In general, snakes. Okay, there's Fanar. We're gonna stab this slug. And then, let's try this. Can you see invisible, by the way? can't. But let's try this instead. Step. Step. Shadow step. Shadow step. Death! Ha! What do you think about that, Fanar? Loser. <laughs> you got shadow stepped, and that's just the coolest ability. I mean, you just like, blink into somebody's shadow, step out of their shadow, and then stab them in the back. What's the deal with that, even? So he's got a quarter staff for freezing, a robe of cold resistance, the elf robe of fan, the elf corpse fan. Well, we'll drink his blood, and um, yeah, we'll take that robe. It's better than mine. I mean, I don't really need it, but it's better than mine, so I'll take it. You know, I'm I'm guess I'm super duper cold resistant now, and uh, I have a ring of ice, which is okay. But I don't think I'm going to be casting that much ice magic. We'll see if I found a relevant spell book. And Sorcerer's Hibernation is practically at full power already. Can we just go invisible? Yep. Stab, stab, stab the rats. Stab the rats forever. Do, 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 do. What do you think about that, rats? You're dead, all of you. Now those rats are pretty easy, honestly, that was pretty overkill. But being a vampire, <laughs> I don't care. I mean, I can uh, turn invisible all day. I can't emphasize that point enough. Being a vampire enchanter is the best. You know, I've won... My, my best game that I ever won was a gargoyle necromancer. Uh, okay, let's get you... Okay, five-headed hydra is sleeping. That is kind of dangerous. I'll finish the story later. Let's see if I can do this. Step. Stab. Shadow step. Shadow stab! He's dead. Translocations got up to 1. What does that mean for my blink ability? It's down to 12%. Still not as reliable as I would like. That was pretty dangerous, by the way. I don't recommend doing that at home. Shadow stepping into a Hydra. I mean, the vampires of Dithmenos are stealthy enough that you can get away with it. If, you, if you're if you worshipping Dithmenos, you can break a lot of rules, because you're, like, so stealthy. It's not even funny. I wonder if I am, in fact, I'm incredibly stealthy by now. Hopefully I'll get to uncannily stealthy soon. Blue potion? Let's see what it is. Potion of Brilliance? Okay. Hill Giants. I'm not concerned. I think I can, he can be easily hexed or stabbed. Confuse, confuse. Yep, he died. Not a trouble. More invisible for these rats. Because stabbing the rats is fun. I love when you stab things and they don't wake up. That is the true joy of stabbing. And I mean, hexing is great too, obviously. You put things right back to sleep. You know, shh. You know, no, it's okay. Go to sleep, Cindy Lou Who. There's no problem at all. Alright, we'll read that L. Clanging noise. Well, that's lame. Woke up that bat. As I said earlier, awake bats are the most terrifying kinds. Alright, those wolves can actually detect invisible, so no sense in doing that. We're up to 12. And... Um, you know what? I'm going to boost intelligence again, because I don't like it at 19 there. I think 20 is a much nicer number for it. So let's get it up to 20. And hopefully that means we will be a hexer 
extraordinaire to make up for our slight deficiency in, in dexterity, but we've got a ring that boosts that anyway, so we're pretty great at everything. Frog, death. Wolf, death. Wolf, death. Wolf. No, unfortunate. Other wolf. Death. <laughs> that wolf can be confused. So what do you think about that? All these natural creatures are no problem. The lair is a cakewalk for a hexer such as myself because all these creatures are natural for the most part. They uh, do not have good magic resistance. They cannot resist the power of my mental abilities. Quaff this, I guess. Potion restore abilities. That's useful. Mm-hmm. Whoops. Crocodile woke up. There we go. Hopefully I don't eat my words and die in the lair. There are dangerous parts, of course. Yeah, I like those hydras, of course. Those hydras can chomp you in a turn or two. Mm-hmm. Slug. Should be no problem. Slugs are extremely slow. I mean, they can... They pose no threat. I think that slugs are being removed in the next version of the game. I'm playing on version point fourteen, by the way. In case you're watching this in some future date, and you're like, whoa, everything's so different. Why are there slugs? It was a different time back now. Let me quaff this M. Potion of haste. Alright, that's kind of useful. Hopefully we'll find haste and want it eventually. I didn't find it in one of those spellbooks, did I? I didn't look at those spellbooks very carefully. I just sort of bought the minor magic one and went with it because that would occupy me for a while. Minor magic is like a great spell book. I could learn like the Mephitic Cloud or something like that, but now nah, I've got other stuff to do. I mean, I, I'll probably get my air up in a minute because I've got this nice air book too, but uh, we'll, we'll see how things go. I'll get my translocations up to two, get my charms a little bit better. My repel missiles went off by the way for some reason. Charms can probably be non-emphasized by now, but I do want to get that a little bit better in case I find, like, haste or something. Uh, okay, what I find here? Glowing diamond ring. Let's put it on. Don't know what it is, but it could be something great. Protection from fire, that is pretty great. I mean, that's the resistance I really need right now. And let's shoot at this wand. I forgot I had this wand. Wand of fire. Uh, annoying. I'm on layer 2. Let's make a stash. Alright, well, I'm going to make a stash and call it a video. So, let's go up here. It's traditional to make a stash on layer 2 for some reason. Because there's no enemies that can use any of your stuff or pick up any of your stuff. So we're going to designate this as waypoint 1 and drop some stuff. I don't need this jet. Why am I carrying around all this stuff? Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Or that. Or that. Um, probably not that wand of confusion either. We don't need all of these scrolls of remove curse. These scrolls of enchant armor I should save. I should probably use them. Forgot about those. Recharging can be used on the teleportation. Uh, okay. Ring of Ice I'm never going to use. Positive Energy. Ring of Evasion I'm never going to wear. Spellbooks. Mutation. Alright, that's a lot of stuff. That's a good start. Oh, okay. Well, let's uh, pick up at least one of these guys. Read the Enchant Armor. On... My gloves of strength. In fact, I'm going to go through all my enchant armor right now. It's better to use them now. I mean, I'll find more, and this is the point of the game when I'm the most vulnerable. So let's just get my AC a little up a little bit. In fact, I'm going to uncurse my cloak at the same time. Why not? And then I will enchant my gloves as well. That robe of cold resistance is probably going to go sometime soon, because my cold resistance is really good anyway. So if I find something better, I'll use that. All right, and uh, that's fine. I also wanted to check out, identify this wand of teleportation. Only two, it's worth using a recharging on that, I think. Because, you know, you never know when you're going to need to teleport bounce around the map. So, perfect. Alright, that's a great place to stop. 
and uh, that's awesome. I'll see you next time.